Zach here with another Imaging Spectrum quick tip. For those who want high quality prints without the hassle of having to navigate through a design software or print driver settings, Epson has created the easy to use print layout tool. This tool has been around for a while, but Epson is always updating and this latest version is even better. I will focus on why you will want to use the print layout, basic settings, and really just showcase the streamlined ease of use for this print tool. So let's jump in. First, if you need to download the tool, you can always type in Epson Print Layout in your web browser, navigate to the Epson official webpage, and download your copy for either Windows or Mac. This will install both the standalone version as well as the Photoshop plugin, so even if you want to make all your corrections in Photoshop, it's extremely easy to send it to the layout tool from there for final processing. After my corrections have been completed in Photoshop, I will navigate to the File menu, and towards the bottom is the Automate Selection. From there, we will select the Epson Print Layout tool, and it will import into the standalone software. Of course, if you already have a completed file ready for print, you can either drag and drop a raster file or the classic file open and navigate to the folder you need. From here, our image will scale to the current settings in the program, so it's nice to start at the top and work our way down. Now previously, this was only for SureColor P-Series printers, but with the release of Epson's 24-inch desktop sublimation unit, the F570, Epson Print Layout will also accept this particular F-Series printer which is great for those who want unprecedented quality without the learning curve of a dedicated editing program. As you can see here, I have multiple Epson printers connected to my network, so I can print to any of my choosing. Today, we will be printing to the P9570, Epson's premier 44-inch 12-color P-series printer. You can see when I change printers, if there's any extra settings, they will appear in the Epson Print Layout tool, such as the Black Enhance Overcoat feature for the P9570. So, now that we have our printer selected, we will check our media type. We are printing on Epson's Premium Luster Photo Paper today, so we will click the drop down and select the appropriate media type. With our printer and media established, we'll focus on sizing. I am printing to a 36 inch roll, so I'll want to print a 24 by 36 photo today. Of course, if you ever need anything more custom, you can manage custom sizes at the bottom of the list. If you use a particular size regularly, I recommend saving that as a preset so you can select it from here on out. Next, we'll select the paper source, which will be different for different units, and since we're using the 44-inch printer, we'll have a choice for roll or sheet. Some printers, such as the P5000, have options for cassette and manual feed. Now back to the printer settings, the last on the list is quality. Of course, your eyes will be the true judge, but generally a mid-level quality produces fantastic prints. If you need speed, drop to the speed setting, or if you're going for gallery level finesse, you can select the max quality setting. Now onto the layout settings. These settings can be especially useful if you're working on special prints like panoramas or gallery wraps as it will seamlessly set up your print for a perfect wrap with the appropriate markers and effects. Things such as mirror image, canvas size, and focus can all be adjusted. Another really cool feature is the template option, anything from a 2-up to a 4-up as well as custom templates. For this, I can take two images I want to work with and drag and drop them into the software. Simple as that. For today, let's go back to standard and look at a few more options. First, it's standard if you want an edge-to-edge -edge borderless print. It is a good to note that not all sizes support borderless options, so if it's missing, it means you are using an incompatible size. Scale to fit is fairly self-explanatory, as it will take your image and stretch it to take up the entire width of your print. Note, it may seem like this borderless, but if you select the borderless option, you will see a halo outline that extends beyond the workspace. With scale to fit unchecked, we have access to more sizing and fine tuning, so you can adjust the margins if you're trying to fine tune your border. I generally remain in the image size as I can crop and size how I see fit. With our layout settings finalized, we will now move on to the final step, color management. I will say with the printer managing colors, as long as you have the appropriate profile selected and the appropriate media type in the software, we will get great prints with Epson Media. If you're using a third party or are more comfortable with specific ICC profiles, we can select those by choosing the type Use ICC. You may notice advanced black and white mode as well, which we'll cover later, but if you want to fine tune the tone of the image, this gives you advanced controls to truly tweak as you see fit. Back to the ICC profiles, we can select any profile we have downloaded to our computer, so we'll select our printer and the premium luster to match. Now, the last step is choosing rendering intent. Since we are dealing with photographs most often, we will use perceptual as this should be the closest to what we see on screen with transitional tones and gradients. That being said, it may be worth to experiment with smaller prints to get the output you desire. Last, for most photographs, I suggest checking black point compensation as this will bring back detail in your shadows without muddying up your image. From here, we will quickly double check our settings and hit print. 
So hopefully you can see how easy this tool is to use, especially if you just want to send a great image to your printer without any hassle. Of course, if you do want to do any editing to your photos, it will be as simple as sending them directly from Photoshop to the Print Layout tool. This should get you going with the quality you'd expect from such a great machine, and always, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out or visit us at imagingspectrum.com. See you soon.